Hello everybody, welcome to this new video. This is a quick tips and technique tutorial video. Damn it, I just failed this intro. Oh God. Hello everybody, welcome to this new video. In this video, I want to show you how to color grade with masks, or more specifically do advanced color grading with masks or lighting adjustments with masks. Anyway, uh, if we quickly flash back to uh, the video from last week, the GX80 settings video, I had a sequence with a bunch of shots from the GX80 with this shot, for example, and this shot ungraded looks like this with grading looks like this, plus masks looks like this. And I don't know if your opinion is the same as mine, but the final grade with the masks looks so much better. So I want to teach you how to do that uh, in Premiere Pro really quickly in this video. So let's get into Premiere Pro. So here in Premiere Pro, we have our grade already. This is our clip. This is our grade, turn it off. That's our original clip, turn it on. That's our grade, but not the final one yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate that adjustment layer so that we can reset the adjustment layer above that to add another grading on top of the graded clip. So let's do that first. We're just gonna hold the Alt key and pull this up and that's automatically, that's automatically gonna duplicate it and now you can see the grading is actually not even that bad, but it's way too strong. So we are going to reset Lumetri up here. Now we've got our normal grade again. So what I want to do with this adjustment layer and with the mask, as you saw what I did in the clip uh, last week was just to darken this left part here of the image because it's completely unimportant to the image. The actual subject of the image is that little waterfall there and the rock and uh, to the left, that's not really significant for this shot. So uh, let's just darken it and uh, make it even less significant so that your eye or the viewer's eye doesn't mistakenly go to the left but straight on look at the subject because that's what you want to do in photography and in filmmaking when color grading especially is a uh, or when comp making your composition actually as well uh, is to lead the viewer's eye so what we're going to do here is show the viewer's eye the path more clearly so what you need to do is go up to the effect controls right here uh, depending on your workspace and how you have your <laughs> lumetri set up uh, your effect controls are going to be somewhere else but if you can't find them just go up here to window and hit effect controls and it should pop up somewhere very obviously so that you can see it and you've got these controls here mind that you have your upper adjustment layer selected the adjustment layer that we are now going to edit and then here you can see opacity that is how transparent or non-transparent the clip is so in this case the opacity is at 100 percent that means the adjustment layer is 100% visible and we don't really adjust that in this case. We don't need to think about that. We're gonna hit this pen icon here, which is the icon to create a mask. As you can see here, mask number one has now been created. And if you hover over the screen, you can see that you have this pen tool here. And what we're gonna do is make a four points, or not actually four lines, a little square right here, which is going to be our mask doesn't have to be precise just really rough like this and then where it says fit here we're going to set it to whoops no I'm going to set it to 10% or whatever works on your monitor but on my monitor it's 10% just so that we can pull these out further than the image actually goes because we are now going to feather this mask and therefore we're going to need some more space in between this line and the bottom of the image and the same at the top and the side. So as you can see over here, mask number one, this is our mask. And then here you have the mask path. This is what we just made. We have the mask feather. The mask feather is just the transition between the, the mask and what is not affected by the mask. So if you have that feather at zero, it's gonna be a really hard pixel by pixel cut. But the more you increase the feather, you can see, you get this gradient and now you can't see the gradient actually working but you can see the dotted lines which so represent where the gradient is going to be so we're going to set this to a humongous number for feather this is not what you usually do with masks i think at least i usually don't have these huge feather numbers but we're going to set it to about 1200 is that too much i'm not sure now let's let's go for 1000 
1000 should be fine. And we're going to align this dotted line, which is the end of the gradient, meaning the end of the mask, about here where the waterfall is because we don't want to darken the waterfall. Everything inside this box we are about to darken to make it less significant in the image. So, uh, yeah, this box actually looks fine. I'm just going to set this back to fit so that we can see our image in full screen. Now you can't see our mask in full screen, but that doesn't matter. And uh, we're going to go from the effect controls back to Lumetri and do whatever you want to do then uh, to make that part of the image less significant. But of course, don't do it too strongly because that can just look completely unnatural. So what we're going to do is um, go to the curves, pull this down. There you go. It looks much darker already. We're going to pull the top down to pull the highlights further down as well. And the shadows to give it this really dark look. But uh, now you can see on the left side, the shadows are just completely pitch black. Doesn't look that good. So we are going to fade those a little like this by pulling up the blacks in the curves and yeah, mm. is that it? I think that's it. We could also uh, pull down the saturation a little because that also makes it less significant. Um, hmm, should be fine. So we can toggle this eye here to turn the adjustment layer on and off. So let's just turn it off to see what it looks like without and then turn it on to see what it looks like with. Yeah, and you can see it just looks so much better because you can instantly focus your eye on the waterfall. No matter if you know the shot already, if you're seeing the shot for the first time, whoever's going to look at this shot is not going to look to the left for any reason, except... No, I don't know why they should look to the left. The left is now really dark, just like the right side was naturally already. But because the left side wasn't very dark, we added that darkness with this second adjustment layer and the mask. And... Uh, that's actually it. And you can do this with all sorts of different shots. I really like to have gradients from the bottom towards the middle of the image because it looks nice. I don't like vignettes because that is from all sides, but I like to have like half vignettes, if you know what I mean, just to have these gradients from the bottom. I do that in my photography, in Lightroom, and uh, now also in video, since I learned how to do this with the masks. And so I wanted to share this technique with you, of course. So I hope you could learn something in this tutorial. And I hope this was some valuable information to you. If it was, leave a like. And if you want to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe. <laughs> and if you want to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe. And I hope to see you again next week. Goodbye.